but here I am. You wanted a mermaid demo, you get a mermaid demo instead of zipper face. All right, so before I start, I'm just gonna take off all my glittery jewels. I don't wanna get makeup on them. It does not feel like a Tuesday. It feels like a Monday to me. Like I had two Mondays in the week. Oh yeah, earrings. Okay, so in this mermaid demo, largely I'm winging it. Um, I also pulled up some graphics of a mermaid to kind of go by. Hey Amber. Well, the kids safely put to bed. Mine aren't. <laughs> One's in bed, the other one is taking his half hour shower or whatever. No questions. No questions. Okay, so let's jump in. So I was going to jump in, except I think I forgot green concealer. And that might be essential to my my mermaid plan. Dangity dang it. Don't forget it. Impromptu, we're just going to do it without it. I don't even have Mystic Moss up here. What was I thinking? Too late to go back, folks. Too late to go back. I'm committed. All right, so I'm going to lighten up and even out my face with foundation. I'm already pale, so... Hey, Liz. I thought maybe I would be too late for anyone to care and everyone would have to catch me on the flip side in the morning. All right, so foundation. And I'm putting my foundation into my eyebrows. I don't normally do that, right? Today we do. Okay, so I'm lightening basically the top. What the heck is in my hair? I have something in my hair. Oh my god. I'm deathly afraid of box elder bugs. Ugh. Ugh. Even thinking about it is just revolting. Um, oh, look at that. We have some light on the subject. Sorry if that was disorienting. Okay, so... I'm going to grab some colors here. I'm mostly using Shadow Sense with some foundation mixed. Um, and I believe the colors I'm going to be using, oh my, I'm kind of pulling a lot of colors here. Um, I'm pulling a lot of Shadow Sense colors because I'm going for kind of a rainbow uh, mermaid look. And um, so I will be using on the yellowy end of the spectrum um, lemon quartz. I will probably s throw some smoke topaz shimmer in there as well because the two of these together make like a golden tone. We do have a gold shadow sense, but I only have one left. It was it was discontinued and it's kind of a unicorn, so I didn't want to open it just for today. And then, um, and then hit into the start towards um, like yellow. So candlelight and sandstone pearl. These are light, and they will blend from that lemon color more into head towards the pinks, in which we've got whisper pink and pink opal shimmer, which I'll be mixing with both the pink. Part of the spectrum and amethyst a little bit of garnet to take it dark and then denim as well and one more where is my silver silver violet so kind of in that range and then a little bit of gray so I did my my mermaid research and then on the lips I'm going to be mixing mauve ice and the brand new released on hand in stock team wicked um for the first time i'm gonna be mixing those in a ring so that's the tina hi 
I haven't seen you in ages. You were on my mind today, just as I was I was walking past a caribou by I can never pronounce that building, like Gavin Day Commons or whatever. And um and I was wondering how you were doing. Okay, so here we go. So I'm starting with the the lemon quartz. So I'm going to put this on my palette and you can use any non-porous surface for a palette. I have a glass cube that I keep cotton balls in and I use it as a, a prop for my camera. Um, that is here, so I'm doing it on there. So that was Topaz Shimmer. And let me find a brush that's not round. I need a flat brush. Here we go. I'm digging out of my clean brushes that I haven't used since last week. Okay, um, this brush is flat and round, but it's a little bit fluffy, and it will probably suck up tons of product. So instead, I'm switching over to this flat round, um, which is very flat. So it's the bristles are more dense, and I'm just mixing those two kind of together. So I'm starting in the center of my face, right here. And it's going to seem a little strange, but I'm going to pull those kind of brownish gold yellows right into my eyebrows. Um, now, if I didn't have dark eyebrows, this would be kind of cool because it would, it would almost make them invisible. Um, unfortunately, I have giant dark worms for brows, so there we go. So it looks at this point like I'm giving myself a lovely um, gold-colored unibrow. Patty, Nic I, Nicole, hi. I am so surprised and pleased. Um, I thought I would be too late and miss all y'all. All right, so getting this here. So once that core is in place with the combo of... Um, the lemon quartz and that. Now I'm going to do the lemon quartz above and below here. So this just adds more highlight to this part of my face. Okay. Now this is going to be a little tricky because we've got to create scales through this look as well, right? So we're mermaids after all. So I need to let a base coat, um, hi Kelly, I need to let the base coat um, kind of set before I do like the scale section of this, okay? So I'm, I'm kind of putting down this little bit of sparkle, a little bit of um, gold. Now here I've got the candlelight in the sandstone pearl. I need to put a little of the shimmer in that as well. So in my pal on my palette here, my cube, I'm starting with the sandstone pearl. It's more of like a yellow. And I'm putting it right next to where I just mixed those other colors. Everything here is very blendy, so you don't have to get too, don't get worried about this, okay? Um, I didn't think the mermaid look would be this complicated when I was planning it, like initially before I planned it, because I was like, oh, it's just a mermaid. Mm. Turns out it uses like every color in the rainbow. All right, so mixing those same flat brush that is not going to absorb much product. It's just going to deliver it to my face, which is what we want. And then I'm overlapping here with the, the lemon quartz and I'm on purpose creating kind of this V shape here, or wave shape um, like this, okay? If you have questions, feel free to comment. I, I want that to go, I want it to get darker. So I've left some there, pink opal shimmer, throwing some of this down next to 
that. And since I'm using all the colors, what the hell, I'm going to put some mulberry in with that. I love mulberry. Mulberry is such a great base for an eyeshadow. Okay, I'm just mixing candlelight, mulberry, and pink oval shimmer like all together right here. And then putting it on my face on the top. So why are we doing this? Well, as a base layer, you want to do this so that you can, um, I'll use some mesh and put scales over it. And that way we get this like pearlescent creamy base underneath all the scales, okay? So here I'm going to bring it down my nose towards my eyes and thinking, let me just check my reference. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna leave this area to be darker, um, not like scary dark, but just like the blues are going there. And then my mulberry, I'm gonna put here. Now, for an everyday look, I would not highlight um, this, my under eye area with mulberry, but mermaids are underwater otherworldly creatures, so we need to do things we wouldn't normally do for this look. And then I'm getting that damn near on my waterline there. Okay, and then kind of fading this out on the sides. Okay. All right, and then this is my um, silver violet putting it here and I'm going to, I'm just making transitions, right? So I used mulberry and now if I'm using the silver violet, I just put them next to each other and blend them a little bit ahead of time so that as I start blending it on my face here, um, it's not so hard to just blend in. And this doesn't have to be super smooth because it scales. And, and we're going to cover it with some mesh anyway. And then I think I want to do some kind of, I want my lips to be like obviously darker than around here. So even though I'm doing the silver violet here, I, I want to not make my mouth look unhappy and scary, which is, I think, the direction this is going. Like I said, I'm winging this. Um, so let me add I'll just mulberry right there, okay? So you can kind of see from the side, it's like kind of mottled coloring. Okay, other side, same thing. And okay. Blendy, 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 quick. I'm trying to do this side a little bit faster so that my mulberry doesn't completely dry. And so I don't bore you. All right, just fan that out. And then to um, highlight my lips, I'm going to take, this is denim, 
I better try it with a lighter color first. So I was using Silver Violet. I'm going to put a little bit more of that on my palette, but this time right next to where I had been mixing with my gold. So this is Lemon Quartz because yellow and blue make green. And a little bit of the Smoke Topaz with the shimmer in it. I'm going to blend those up here and see what I get. Ooh, kind of a weird muddy green color. So we'll get that happening. All right, I saved two kinds of mesh. And I'll start at the top, so by the time I get to this section, it's drying. Now, just like every other look, it does not end at your face, okay? So, you know, typical mermaid legends, they're always, you know, like topless. And I have a, a long, I'm not going topless. Um, I have a long red wig from other Halloweens. So I want to make sure to bring bring your look down your neck a little bit to, um, to kind of get that same sort of feeling. So I'm going to get out our purp uh, silver violet again. And this time a little, a dab of denim to make it much lighter. Or, yeah, opposite, darker. I just look like I have a dirty chin right now. So instead, this is quite dark. But I'm adding it here. So you can just, so instead of it looking dirty um, and messy, we're just, I'm highlighting my jawbone so that it looks on purpose. And then I'm just pulling this down. We'll put scales on. And you can use your fingers to blend this area too. And let me get this back up here to my jaw. Especially in like low lit party areas and stuff. It's also a good idea to do this so you actually maintain some bone structure. Okay, so from below, that's what that looks like, okay? And you can see it already makes a difference just from the front that this is on purpose. And then it helps always to pull these things down in the areas of your neck where you have contour. You might not think that you do, but everyone has this area where your esophagus is that is lighter on the front. So I'm just taking whatever is left from my palette of the, the light colors and mixing them together in the darks over here in this section. So at least like bare minimum. Like I, if I didn't have a white collared shirt on, I would go down to collarbone and over. So that's kind of what I recommend. And then we're ready for mesh. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Kiki. Okay, so let's talk about let's talk about mesh and eyebrows. So eyebrows and eyes we want to highlight. Um, and lips, but those are the three things that we leave, leave to the end. So we have to do the mermaid's skin, and let's not forget our ears, at least a little bit. Um, we have to do the mermaid's skin just bef before we do the rest, okay? So, hang on here. Drawer of tricks. I've got... Just like what everyone keeps in a bag, They're like old fruit bags, right? Okay, so I've got a lime bag and this stuff. This is, um, oh, I should have taken the plastic off this junk first. All right, well, done. And let's 
just rip that apart. Okay, so what we want is the bag separated from the plastic, but intact, except on both of its ends. So here, hang on, I got too many strings. There we go. Just rip that off of there, because we want to throw this away when we're done. We don't want to keep it. It's going to be makeup covered. What you want is like this tube. You want that tube, okay? Because then you can put it over your face. <laughs> you didn't know it was dress up too, right? Okay, so the <laughs> this is really hard to see through. But I could like roll it up or whatever, but I'm not going to because I'm me. So I'm just going to pull it down all the way. So we want to cover up here by the hairline for sure and the sides so I probably should pull my hair out of the way in either place first and it's good to do over the cheekbones I'm not going to do a ton of scales below here um, but that's what we want so far okay so in this situation now I want to add some real sparkle because you know fish scales are iridescent so I have the pink opal shimmer this stuff is uber shimmer it's so shimmery it's scary shimmery it's cool though if you just use it in like a little bit on the corners of your eyes it like um, it's just really neat anyway that's what I use it for in real life IRL um I don't need moisturizer right now and I don't need lip color all right so I've got denim and that same silver violet amethyst and then my pink opal shimmer and then so that's kind of the purple blue spectrum and then the light colors are again these these two maybe three of um, the sandstone pearl shimmer the smoke topaz shimmer and a little bit of lemon quartz so if we start with those here remember how we put like kind of a base of some of those here we're going to um shift that up so that the mesh is covering what is the base coat so we're going to adjust that so let me get these out and then we'll end up with like gold green blue purple like that across my face and I am going to try to put this on with my brand new chicken cutlet. You know, you saw this in the other demo. It's it's a silicone foundation or um, like contour makeup applicator, but it's, uh, it's squishy. I just didn't expect it to be squishy. Saying, just did not expect that. All right, I've got sandstone pearl shimmer out and a dab of lemon quartz. Maybe two dabs because I have some surface area to cover and then the smoke topaz so we're gonna start by I'm gonna mix those together with my brush and apply it to this with the brush okay I've never done this before so let's hope it goes well so this has two sides one this is concave oh I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Well, whatever. This convex concave, I can't keep them straight. This is the top arch. This arch isn't, so we want this one. So I'm painting this onto the applicator. Okay, and I'm essentially stamping this on my face. Okay. And I'm going to try to do it multiple times, and each time I'm looking at the applicator. And then I can put more on once it gets kind of kind of low. It's like kind of like buttering bread and then smearing it all over your face. Okay, so do that. And then I'm going to add just smoked topaz so that I can get some depth. Okay. I get some depth of um, of color here on the edges. So I'm, as you notice, I'm not cleaning off this applicator. I'm just, I just keep loading different colors on it. 
Okay, so we want to get darker colors. Oh heck, I'm gonna try just putting it on here. Nope, probably not a good idea. Doing it anyway, okay. Um, what, and it doesn't even have to be on here super great. Like, it doesn't matter because it scales and we're smearing it around. So you want to hit a darker color here at your temples, up here, and over here by your hairline. So let's do this one over here and over here. Okay. And then you go back and you just, I'm just dabbing. The reason I'm wearing this thing on my head like an idiot is because then it keeps the mesh from moving. I don't have to, if I just had a flat piece, I'd be having no, not enough hands. I'd have to try and hold it and not move it and that's crazy. So this works better. So now I'm just going to put the sandstone pearl shimmer. Shimmer, shimmer is the key here. Um, so I'm putting the shimmer on, kind of blending that into what was already on there, and then doing the highlight areas by my brow, and then also blending that in. Okay, we covered the yellows, right? Now I'm gonna add a dab of the silver violet, a little bit of blue, to a little bit of the brown shimmer and the quartz so I get a green color okay we want that green color that's going in the middle of my face now if I used my brush instead of this I'm going to end up moving these lines around we want to avoid that okay so I pre-mix those on here dabbing I don't want to have a green spot in the middle of my forehead and this isn't looking especially green so I'm just gonna mix it right on here so I just threw a dab on there and I'm just mixing yeah now it's a little more green okay so I'm putting that here and I'm not pressing the whole thing down see how part of it is up in the air and I'm going kind of in that brow line again that we started with and then onto the ridge of my nose. That doing this will give you that contour look on your face. Okay, we want to do the same thing here on our cheekbones and then put dark colors over there. So I'm just going to mix this right on here. Time is of the essence. Okay, that was Silver Violet. This is Lemon Quartz. And we have to have a shimmer, right? Scales are shimmery, so that's a bit of bronze. I mean, not bronze shimmer, topaz shimmer. Okay, that's what it looks like. Mixing blending not too much but enough to get a greenish color and I'm going to actually take some of this and reserve on my brush so that I can reapply it right on here so again um, I'm going to put this here on my face on this side and then re apply all that extra goodness that I had in my brush for over here. Okay, cheekbones. All right, now I'm going back to my silver violet, but I'm gonna head more towards the purples range this time. So let's just mix it right on there, then you can see it too. Okay, there's that, amethyst. Okay, and I'm pulling some of the pink opal shimmer I had over here, blending these. Again, reserve what's getting applied. Temple, just laying that whole thing down. And I want to get 
up here by my eyebrow there. Now applying that, putting that on, ready for the other side. Temple. Okay. And I did a, the extra on there. Now I'm doing amethyst, denim, and the, and the pink opal. So amethyst is the purple. So that's on there. Denim is dark, dark blue, like denim, you know, blue jeans. Okay, I'm gonna pre-mix these two together with the silver violet mess that's still on my brush, getting this, then I'm pulling in the pink opal shimmer, and now it's really, it's taking it down to more of the lavender look, okay? So that is swirled all over, pulling back. So see, I have a reserve and my stamp. This is going here and here. I'm gonna lay that on there. And I may have to dab this a couple times. And see how I went over? It's okay. That's fine. Let's pull the extra onto here. Okay. So I can't stand this on my face anymore, and it's time to pull it off. So. I can reuse this for other areas, but you can see from this, from the look so far, we have got significant scaling. It's kind of cool. So, just laying this inside out right here, and then where I went over on my, I'm just going to take the, my brush and blend in that on either side so that it looks on purpose. We just turn those accidents into happy accidents. Okay, and then I'm going to feather that out a little bit. And then I think I should put some scales down here below, um, but I'm thinking that I want to do the eyes first and let that dry. Hang on. A shadow sense of my eye. There we go. All right, so I wanted to do like something very opalescent. So I'm going to keep using my funny sponge as my mixer because you guys can see it and get lots of pink opal on here. And I'm going to mix this, whoops, with a denim, straight up denim. Okay, dot, dot. It looks like this. And this has a lot of everything on it. More in the purple area though. So that's what it looks like so far. So see how nice and shiny that is? Now that's what is going on the inside here of our eye. So that now you want to be careful. This is really fun, but you, you don't want to get it super thick or you'll end up with a crease because it can't dry fast enough. Okay, so I'm going to pull that, some of it up into my eyebrow too, and then over. Okay, I'm going to do that on this side just past my tear duct here. Okay, so see that? And I have enough here to do the other eye. Let's do the same thing over there. Basically, I'm following this line of my nose towards my brow.
Okay, so I have scales already starting here. I, I don't want to interrupt that. I think that's cool. So I'm just dabbing and allowing this to just blend itself on that side right, right into that look. On this side, the same thing. So I have scale, scale, scale. So I don't want this to just overwrite that. I'm just going to kind of dance around it here. Okay, that is a little thick. All right, so I have a little bit left, but I don't want to stay that light under my eye. I want to make more of a statement there. So I'm adding dot of denim and probably two of amethyst because I really want it to go more purple. Okay. And if I, I need to keep it shimmery, and both denim and amethyst are not shimmer, so I'm trying to keep, keep it more on the dark side of shimmer without having to add um, more pink opal. Okay, so now I'm going to look carefully at how you want the inside of your eye to be here. I want to draw a line from here all the way through. I can come back and touch up my waterline. Just, I wanted this to come down kind of like a fishtail right here and then also a second one so it's more like a little fish sort of swimming there and um, I want to do the other side before I come back and fix my waterline Now, if I were doing this to go out, I might actually get my blow dryer out at this point and just like put it on cool and set the shadow sense. I can feel that I'm getting a little bit of a, a crease right here because it's still not dry on my lid. I really want it to be dry there. All right. And finishing up on our bottom lid. Okay. And then you can, even with contact lenses, you can use shadow sense on your waterline. make sure that it sets and if you slip and accidentally paint it on your contact and they're done that um, it comes off just take out your contact and rub it up okay so I still have this kind of blank area under my eyes and, um, and I want that to be not blank so let's get the um, I'm doing the pink opal and I have the sandstone pearl shimmer out as well. I'm going to mix both of those with a little bit of mulberry so it's not like foreign to the purple range that we're in, but it gives, goes a little more pink. All right. And then I might use that combo again in mesh. We'll see. Okay. 
And then, see where my scales are? I hate going over those. So I'm using my finger to just stipple those in. Really don't have blank skin on our face anywhere anymore. Okay. Um, so the eye isn't as dramatic as I really wanted it to be. So I think I need to put more of more of like a smoky eye almost happening here on the edge of my my eye. So hang on. Amethyst and denim without anything else. Take that top wing that heads kind of south. I'm going to take that over with denim. And then get out my fluffy round and stipple this in to what's already here. And because it is a little thicker, it's still pliable. So keep adding this into my crease. I think that gives it a little bit better dimension. What do you think? Okay, so it's like a quiet group tonight. I don't even have, uh, so is this heading the way that you thought it would head or totally scary different? <laughs> um, okay, so same thing on this side. Let's kind of take over that, that bottom wing, or I mean the top wing rather, with the darker color. And then um, we'll finish up with some scales on the bottom and lips, and then we're done. So for all the colors that we're dealing with here, relatively, relatively fast look. I mean, we're not trying to be scary, really. There's nothing. Um, this is more costumey than, um, you know, it's elaborate, definitely, but um, but it's not terrifying. I don't think it's terrifying. I suppose if you're afraid of mermaids, it'd be scary. Okay, so let's pull this up here a little bit more scale-like into our brow there. And then going to put some, I want to terminate these lines um, that end by my nose. I want to terminate them in a, like a scale shape. Okay. So we've got the strong, unusual shape here that And a highlight. Just and normally I would think if I had like a like a what what's the word? Almost like a stamp in that shape, but instead I'll just make Use my brush kind of in that way to make a little bit of a different line here. 
So I'm just I'm basically making like a, a triangle with a round end on it right here. So that from the side, this has a little bit of a fishtail, and there's something also interesting on the other end. Okay? Okay. So from here, um, I feel a little bit naked. I would put on um, mascara. I might even put my magnetic false lashes on, something like that. Um, to give that a little stronger eyelash. But otherwise, I think that's good. And then down here, I do want to add a little bit more um, scaling. But I don't want to put this thing, the whole thing, over my face. But I really can't come up with a better way of doing it. So... I'm just going to put it partially over this way because I want to be able to get down here, okay? And I'm going to use a little bit of a lighter color um, on one section. I'll show you here in a minute. So if this is my light, my pink opal shimmer, and this is my sandstone pearl shimmer again. And then I'm going to use that mulberry. I just, I love mulberry on my eyes. Just one layer of mulberry, a little candlelight, we're good to go. Okay, so I still have these darker colors on here. They're starting to set on this. So I'm just stippling those other colors into each other and then blending them right on to our little makeup sponge slash, it's not a sponge, silicone chicken cutlet. Okay, so that is here. Now I don't want to do up here because I did already. I want to do where you're below your cheekbone. So if you were to suck your cheeks in below that line. Okay, and up. I'm not going to go crazy over there. I just wanted to add a little bit more scaling. I wonder if I can do it like this. Nope. Has to go over my head. All right. I still have product. Okay. Does it not have to be exactly the same? In fact, same as boring. You want it to be a little different. Okay. So from here, um, we need lips. All right, I'm gonna get to use my mixing ring again. So here's my mixing ring. I put it this way on my finger. In case you didn't see that demo, there is one just on that. I'm shaking them both at the same time because they both need to be shaken. They're both brand new. Kinda gives me the shakes to hear that sound. All right. Mauve, ice, one, two, three swipes. Team Wicked. This stuff is gorgeous. It, it's a, even look at the brush. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a, I'll do a demo all with Team Wicked all by itself. And then one good one of Team Wicked. That's what we're going to start with in the cup. Okay, I don't want to dump it. Here's my disposable applicator so I don't wreck mine. Stirring. And I'm going to apply this, which isn't enough in here, but I'll start. Okay, it really wasn't enough in there. <laughs> I 
Hmm. And I'm doing this, I'm getting ideas. Okay, going again. Advice. One, two. I'm just going to do two applicators of it this time. Two. Okay. Shake. like I don't want to get any more of ice on this. Ooh. Awesome. Okay. Okay, so very ethereal looking. Now, this time I'm gonna do one, two, two of Wicked. Okay. And two of Love Ice. Okay. Equal. Let's see. Okay. Now I'm just doing my third layer on the inside edges. You'll see in a minute why. Okay, I still have this. I still have this. Now I'm just using love, just love, and I get a wipe of clean shot off. Okay, there you go. I don't want to get it dirty. Dirty applicator, dirty mix cup. It's okay. On purpose. Just turns a lovely lavender color. Okay, letting it dry. <laughs> okay, so now we also have the Lit Sense colors in there so that I can, um, oh, I should have left it on. Dangity dang, I'll just hold it. Um, I want to do a little bit more of our shimmery pink oval, pink oval shimmer and just the pink oval shimmer 
with what's on here. Where is, where's my brush? There it is. Because Shadow Sense sticks to Lit Sense, okay? So now that I had some of the Lit Sense go over the edges, This is why you put it on her head. See, I can't hold it. Dang. I just don't like having it on my face. Okay, here you go. Make sure it's tight, though. Which it's not. Hang on. There we go. Don't stick your lips together like I just did. <laughs> Dang. And I thought I had, I do, icicle. Icicle is great for light for lightening a color. It is also great for locking shadow scents in on your lips. So as soon as that dries, I can grab a gloss. I'm gonna use pearl gloss. It's just almost out, so I'm storing it upside down. Okay, so I want a little bit more right here. Really just want to be able to There we go. Wanted just a little bit more shower scales near my mouth. Okay. So you know seaweed encrusted hair. However, you want to go. But there's our mermaid. You can even do scales on your neck, too. That might be kind of good. Let's do that quick. I put this thing on my head so many times. I'm just going to throw it away when we're done, though. So, um, which is a great reason to, you know, recycle, reuse. We just used a, um, we just used a bag from fruit. So here, tiny bit of our opal and silver violet. Swirl it on there. Yeah. Pull this apart just a little bit. So you don't want like super tiny ones. And I don't want the spot where I did my mouth. You can see the lip sense right here. Avoid that spot. Now you wouldn't have to go to this extreme. You could, this would be super cute on your kid if, if they don't mind having a bag of fruit on their head. Um, so I have scales on my neck too. All right, I might take some photos and see what I can do with my hair because my, my curly look I have going isn't awesome for my mermaid, but I wish I could make mermaid noises. I, uh, Wow, wow. I don't know. I'm just reaching. Thank you. Good night. Happy Halloween. Okay, this is part two. I went and put on the wig, like I said I would, my the big um red wig that I already had from a previous witch costume that I did. And then this is an old prom dress that you can see where it's starting to stain, which I had torn, ripped up, and covered in like fake blood and black. But I thought together they were kind of mermaidy. But with this look, the color is so strong from the hair that it really makes my neck look red. So I need to put um, 
some blue scales down my neck here in order for it to look balanced. So I need to put a little bit of base color down, which I don't have to put on the sponge. I can just put here. So this is mulberry. I'm going to add candlelight and sandstone pearl to this and just kind of um, blend it on. I could also use our neutral um, our neutral cover-up. I just don't have any right here at my fingertips and I didn't want to I'm lazy and I didn't want to go dig for it. So there's that. Um, so this is the brush I was using before. The colors have set. I can even just do a little of this on here to kind of blend them in just to get that even tone that we need to put our blue scales on. Okay. And then I have my my sponge with some mulberry on it. Oops. I'm going to put amethyst on it. I'm putting quite a bit on here so that it's easy to mix it on that and then use it as a reserve. And then the um, silver violet is what this is called. I'll show my palette too in a second. And then pink opal shimmer. This is like the mermaid's best friend right here. I have mulberry, I have all these four colors, most, just about, pretty much, you know what, I think I have every color of Shadow Sense in stock, on hand, ready to ship. Anyway, there's the colors, blending, big circles, okay, and then I'm pulling it um, a little bit, look how much is on my brush, look that that's an even yeah, I look like ha ha right now. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put this over my arm so that I can have a way of holding it at the same time. Because I can't put it over my head. Hold the mesh steady. Keep the mesh steady. Set the sponge down. See, I didn't use all my reserve. It's still there. And again. Don't have to cover the whole area with scales. But I want to get enough of a scaling to be noticeable and not just one spot right so we've got we've got scales a little bit subtle but it still helps and then if I pull this up here I want to add some more right there with what is left on my brush It's important with the sponge to press, not sweep. <coughs> I pressed too hard on my esophagus. <coughs> but anywho, I'll take photos, but you can see that now that I, I have scales, even in sections in the center that matters more because my hair is covering my shoulders anyway in this look so hey, let me get the mesh off me so I don't need to worry about the rest brush down thank you have a great night